Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, <clears throat> it's once again, Lord, we come to you with a thankful heart. As if we come to the close of another day, another time when we lay down and rest from the daily cares and toils and labors of this life. And Lord, I pray today, Lord, as you look down on us, you forgive us for our sins, our shortcomings, our faults, and our failures, and keep us on the right road and protect us as we press on. And Lord, today, tonight, we pray for those, Lord, it's unsaved, that need to be saved, Lord, we pray. Lord, you save someone tonight. And we also pray for those, Lord, that straight away, that they'll come back to you tonight, Lord, and, and start over. And Lord, I pray today for those sick and afflicted in this body, that, Lord, you reach down, touch, heal, deliver, and set free, if it be your will. And, Lord, all of us have failed you and come short many times because there's not a just man on earth that does good and sinneth not. And this word, Lord, comes from your word. And we stand up on it and we believe on it and we know it's a sure foundation. And you are the living word. And I pray today, Lord, for those, Lord, that's going through troubles and trials. I pray you help us all overcome and be better than we was before and walk closer to you. And I pray, O oh Lord, today for those that's lost loved ones that's already crossed that river into their better home. Lord, I pray you give them peace and satisfaction, Lord, and let them know that one day they will meet again on the streets of glory somewhere uh, where the roses will never fade and where the tree of life is forever blooming, and there to be no more sad goodbyes, there will be no heartaches, no pain, no death, nothing over there to hinder to destroy God's children or take their joy away from them anymore. And Lord, I pray today, Lord, as we press on that way, that you'll give us the strength, Lord, to climb the high hills and cross the wide valleys, because, Lord, we can't make it with, without you, because we'd be alone and we wouldn't have your mercy and your grace. And Lord, if it wasn't your mercy and your grace, we'd all been gone a long time ago without hope. But thank you, Lord Jesus, that you had enough love and mercy for us, that you went to the old rugged cross and paid our sin dead in full, that we could be saved, that we wouldn't have to die lost and go to hell. Lord, the place it wasn't even prepared for mankind, but for the devil and his angels. And I praise you, I glorify you for your forgiveness, Lord, and for your great love that you had towards us, that you would pay such a price to set us free from a bondage of sin that we were in before we were saved. We were so far out and away from you that we didn't even know you a long, for a long time, didn't know you existed. Even though we were taught of you, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for the parents, good mama and daddy, that taught us the right way, that when we got up years of accountability, no right from wrong, we knew they were right all along. And we begin searching for you, Lord, and thank you, Lord, for coming on the scene and saving our souls and making us fit subjects for heaven. And Lord, I pray you continue to let us grow in faith and knowledge and understanding and grow closer to you each day. As we face the many trials we go through. And help us, Lord, today to cross the wide valleys and climb that high hill that seems so high and the valley seems so wide. But, Lord, we know we can walk safely over, walking hand in hand with you. And help us, Lord, today. As we lift our hands up to you, I pray, Lord, you reach down to us and help us along the way. Now, Lord, as we lay down to sleep one more time, I pray, O oh Lord, you save someone tonight before, it's too, well, before they leave this world, because however they leave this world, the way they'll stand before you one day after a while. And Lord, I pray you give us all sweet rest and peace, knowing that if we don't wake no more in this life, that our, our eyes will open, being in your presence and at your feet, where we can praise you forevermore, as long as eternity and the ages roll. And I know when we get there, there'll be no more end. And Lord, when we get there, there'll be no crippled, there'll be no wheelchairs, 
there will be no blind eyes in glory land there will be no deaf ears because we're all here every ear we hear you speak clearly and plainly and Lord one more thing when we get there we'll be able to sit down at the table and you will feed us you give all your power back over to the Father and you will feed us that great supper with Abraham Isaac and Jacob and all those prophets and, and disciples that's gone on before and those are waiting for our coming and Lord one more time we give you all praise and honor and glory because you're worthy and if it was for your love and mercy like I've already said we'd be in deep deep trouble and trouble we could not get out of but thank you Lord for your mercy and your love you granted towards us when we accepted you as our Lord and Savior you wouldn't have had to but you did because you loved us and we, and we give you all the praise and honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank you, Father, for your love and your mercy.